Okay, so I guess you could say that I like to build things in Valheim. And if you look at all of my builds, I haven't done an island build in quite a while. It's surprising too, because islands offer some of the best protection against constant attack from enemies. So today I'm going to show you how I like to build one of the most safe bases in Valheim, the Island Fortress. Alright, welcome to- oh my gosh. Welcome to the island build. You can see here that you can really see that house in the back. And you can see the wall from here. You can see boats all around to make this place feel alive and used and worked in. Let's go ahead and talk about the first thing that I built, which was the wall. And also just getting the land ready for the build itself. <laughs> Let's do that. I started off this project with a very small and skinny south facing island. The first thing I wanted to do was clear the land of anything in the way. After that I started terraforming, adding in levels increasing in height all the way to the back where it would feel the most safe. Next I built a concept for a wall segment that could surround the island and make it into a fortress. Next I copied the wall concept around the lower half of the island. Then I did the same thing for the upper half of the island. I then connected the lower and upper elevations with some custom curving staircases and curving stone wall segments. After that, I finished up the wall with three extra features because although it is detailed, I felt like it could use some life. Alright, so I talked about three different areas on the side of the build. Here's the first one that I talked about. You can see we've got a nice little gate and some water kind of like going through into the build. Now, I mean, this is completely pointless, but at the same time, I think it's just a really cool feature to kind of bring some extra details to the wall on this side. And then over here, we've got a nice little area to work in, some things that maybe are about to get lifted up by this crane up above. And you've got a little area to park a carve and maybe offload some items. As I go around the island, you may or may not notice that I have some wards tucked away. You can see right here in these trees, there's a ward right there. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Don't text and drive, people. But yeah, there's. <laughs> I have wards tucked around the island, and that's because there's a little bit of land here and there surrounding the actual fortress itself. So I thought it'd be uh, good to just make sure it's spawn protected. Check it out, here's the second section. And over here, uh, this is definitely my favorite of the different sections. It's just got a lot going on. You've got another little custom, cr oh. You've got another little custom crane, and this time it's hanging down, kind of supporting two water wheels. You've got a little dock here where you could come and work on the water wheels or offload some carves. And you've even got an area over here, which I've probably already showed you, but I'll go ahead and just go inside. You can see we've got some wood walls. We've got some nature in here, some lighting tucked away, and then a little secret entrance almost into the build itself. But we'll have to wait to go through that way for a little bit. But let's continue our journey around to the final extra feature I added to the wall, which was the front entrance. Well, where's the wind? Oh my gosh, I'm literally, okay. All right, so arriving here at the front entrance, oh my gosh. <laughs> arriving here at the front entrance, you can see that we've got a dock on both sides. You know, they're, they're asymmetrical, so they look a little bit different from each other, which is kind of nice. And you've got an entrance on both sides. And the only way you can access this entrance is by boat. So it's actually uh, pretty safe. Oh gosh, I'm about to crash. All right, remind me not to do a boat feature in the next video this is a terrible idea and also there's the bridge up above which i think turned out really nice uh, and actually just has enough room for a carve to fit inside we'll pull in there in a minute but first i want to show you what i did on the building for the entrance on the inside 
For the front entrance, I needed to build a dock area for carves to come in and offload resources. You can see this in a quick version here where I built the basic shape of the docks, then a staircase and a wall, then hand railings, then the roof for the left side, and then the roof for the right side. And then I finished it up with a few extra details. Now this is what it looks like from above and also from a few different angles. So now you've got a good picture of this little front entrance area, but I do want to show you kind of a little more about how I put it together. So just for a quick update, at this point I had turned the island from uninhabited rocks and trees into walls and a possible fortress, then into a lively wall that felt like work and trade and things were happening, and then into a functional entrance with docks, with a storage area, and also a workshop. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's head inside. And you can see that we can actually pull a carve right here through the middle of this bridge. If you know what you're doing. Yep, I figured that was... Okay, yep. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, the only problem is, is the roofs are a little small. So the best thing you can do is just go into reverse. And you can actually get some forward momentum with the sails actually turned sideways, if you didn't know. And you can just pull in nice and slow. So what's cool here is we have two different sides. So let's go ahead and check out this left side here. Where you can see we've got a really nice wide pathway going upwards. And that's because I wanted room for a storage cart on one side. This is the storage side. So we've got some nice little custom shelves over here. Stone cutter because this is a stone fort. So I figured you might need that. Another little custom kind of shelf. Pretty simple but kind of custom shelf here. And some storage carts kind of stored away up top. As we come down this way, you have the workshop side, which I think turned out really nice. Uh, you know, just functionally, it's really nice, but also it's got some really nice decorations to kind of bring it all together, especially this little spot here. Now, <clears throat> this is completely pointless. Like, uh, there is no reason to add this into this fortress, but and I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of a cool little extra thing to add. You can see as we come down this way, we've got a really nice wall feature here with some kind of stone foundations almost. But that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and talk about the next area, which is the farm. Starting off on the farm area, I had a large area of dirt for a blank canvas. In my mind, I had a few options to choose from. Once I decided I wanted the farm in the middle, I got to work. Before I built the farm though, I did need to connect this second section of elevation on the island to the third section and also to the walls of the fort. I did this by adding in a simple staircase on the right side of the build, and then another staircase on the left side of the build, and then by adding in a nice wall design with a staircase cutting through it, leading up to the highest elevation of the build. After that, it was time for the farm. For the farm, I wanted a free-flowing kind of shape surrounded by stone walls with a few wooden gates to access the crops. After I got that all laid out, I added a variety of crops and then finished up the area with some extra nature and beehives to really bring in the farm kind of outdoor vibes. Alright, so let's check out the farm. The farm turned out pretty cool, but the first thing I want to do is actually leave the farm and go up to the wall. You can see we've got access up here. There's a little bit of the roof sticking over, but you can come up here, look down, and you can come around and you can go back down the staircase on the other side of the farm. Pretty cool. You've got access to your little custom cranes on the sides. And as we head down into the farm area, uh, I don't know, it just feels really organic here. I really like this. Lots of little nature elements, uh, you know, beehives, trees. You can see, finally, the entrance into the cave. It almost feels like a little secret path, but also the shape of the farm itself, I feel like, kind of feels kind of natural and free-flowing, kind of curving around. I did this by basically alternating between 2 meter stone pieces and 1 meter stone pieces to get the exact curve that I needed to make this happen in this space. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it here for the farm itself. Once again, we've got this nice wall here with the stone foundations, and that leads us up to the main house. The house construction began with a blueprint. I had flat ground to work with, which was nice, but with limited space, I needed to be careful with my planning. Whoops. So getting started, I built up a flat blueprint to get an idea for the shape of the build. Then I added an outline for the vertical elements of the build, adding two distinct elevations coming up from the outside going in, where I wanted to have two different heights for my roof. I then came back in a minute and added another extra bit of height to the middle for a tower that would stick up and out of the roof for even more to look at. Next, I added the basic walls onto the house, and I also added the roof frames sticking out from the build, which I have a whole video series on roofing if you want to learn more about roof frames. Now it's time to bring some life into this building with details on the walls. Going with a two layered wall, you get a layering effect which instantly livens up the build. I also added windows which have a double arch design on the top, and I filled in the peaks of the walls under the roof, leaving a kind of diamond shape open for a design. All right, now it's time for the roof. Now that the roof was done, it was time to finish up the build with the stone and wood tower. Starting with the stone tower, Now to top off the build, I came up with a fun roof frame so that I could create an old favorite of mine from a while back. So here in a smaller scale, I created a similar frame. It's pretty simple, sticking out 2 meters from the middle of the sides and 1 meter from the corners. From there, I just filled in the 45 degree O corner pieces all the way to the top where they overlapped nicely. Then I added a quick pointed feature by using a combination of 26 and 45 degree beams, which I'll show you a little closer in just a second. And why not, before we head inside, let's see it all again, but much quicker. Alright, so the main house. The main house I think turned out really cool, really fun. The roof especially. I got to add in some nice like kind of Viking roof peaks or something on the ends. First of all, I wanted to show you guys this right here. We've got a really big open area here. If you are a channel member and you'll be downloading this world, it will be going to the ultimate membership for a few months. And then as usual, it'll come down to the advanced membership. I left this area open for you guys so you could add a little workshop here if you wanted to, if you want to use this on survival. But let's go ahead and check out the inside. I think the inside turned out really cool. We've got some really tall ceilings. And the first thing you might notice is that we actually don't have a staircase up to those towers up there. I decided to actually make it a portal to save room. We'll check that out in just a minute. But as far as the interior goes, I think it turned out really cool. We've got a little like kind of work area here on the side with a grinding wheel and a Smith's anvil tucked into some stone. There's a bed here. A bunch of shelves up top with storage and like maybe some books with some signs. You've got some mead barrels tucked up there so you could make some mead. A little extra thickness on the pillar there, which if you didn't notice in the build thing, I did out here out front too, which I think is a really nice detail just to add. But over here on the other side, we've got a stone floor. You can see we've got a wood floor to a stone floor transitioning with a rug, kind of bringing them together. And then over here on this side, we've got the chimney and the kitchen itself. So you've got everything you need to cook. You've got a little table here with some food displayed. And you've even got a really nice display up here on the wall, which I think turned out really nice. Keeping those same blue details as the wall banners, which you can actually see right there, which is kind of cool. And um, just some trophies scattered here and there and some bookshelves, a suit of armor up there. I don't know, just some extra details. Uh, to hopefully bring that wall together. But before we go through the actual portal to head up to the top of the tower, I thought we'd, we'd come out back. You can see the view, and you can see that we can actually use this wall and go all the way back down and curve down the staircase to the lower wall. And same thing over here on this side, except for the chimney, which is kind of sticking over the path, my bad. But yeah, you've got the 
curving staircase which heads down around the lower wall. So coming back inside the house, you can store some things, you can hang out with your wards, or you can head up through the portal. Now this other portal here leads to the world spawn for my channel members. You'll pop in right here. And yeah, this is really the final area of the build. Couple different textures here that we're using and a really nice roof feature, which I'll show you really quick. We've got 26 degrees, 45 degrees, and 26 degrees here so if you want to actually make this yourself it's only 145 degree beam down low and the way i did that is by using one meter beams here i went back and changed out the fun roof frame for one meter beams which gave me more snapping points for these points themselves but yeah the top of the build turned out really cool and the view from up here i think is spectacular all right another build video is complete if you want to check out any of the other videos i mentioned during this tour the links will be in the description thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed maybe leave a like maybe subscribe and i'll see you in the next one